Hey everybody, Bricklayer18 here today to show you what's inside this Lego Ninjago movie box and what's inside is actually my Lego Vault. You've seen me do videos of it before and this is the 2019 update of what's inside. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, this is my Lego Vault. I actually keep it in a Lego Ninjago movie box from the promo I did with them back when the movie came out. It's a really big box and it serves as a double purpose because I certainly didn't want to get rid of it, but I had to make use of it somehow. So if you've never seen one of my Lego Vault videos before, you might not know what my Lego Vault is. For me, basically, it is just a place where I keep all my sealed Lego sets that I have duplicates of or that I have absolutely no plans of ever opening. So sometimes you get good sets on sale that you just you know you're never going to build. So you, I throw them in my vault here. And sometimes I just have duplicates of sets that I throw in the vault here. And the intention is, of course, eventually they will get resold, parted out, something like that. But most of the time, sets that are in here are ones that I'm going to resell or hoping go up in value at some point or another. A lot of you may know I used to run a BrickLink store, but I don't actually anymore. So any sets that I would normally put into the store go in here. And these are only physical sets, minifigures, things like that. No loose minifigures, no poly bags or anything like that. There are actually two separate bins for those things, and that's and that's for another video altogether. But this is what I have here. So I will take off the lid now, and I will show you everything inside. So as you can see, this bin is very full. Very full of Lego right to the top and I'm just going to show you kind of every set that I have in there and ignore these little flaps here. First thing right on top is this pick a model. This is a New York City exclusive pick brick model. I have this Lego brickhead set, these, these Christmas ones. I received duplicate copies of this so I just kept one in here. They're very cool. Uh, I'll show you these ones first. I have the brickheads for Mickey and Minnie Mouse. I have two copies of each. These are for investment purposes. I have a couple other brickheads here. These are just ones that I got duplicates of. And it was 41600 Aquaman and 41599 Wonder Woman. Here I have a copy of the 2015 Lego Gingerbread House. This is number 41139. Uh, 277 pieces. This is an awesome set. I actually had three of these and I sold one a couple years ago right in 2015 when they came out for a nice sum of money. So that's why I'm holding on to this one. Hopefully, you know, maybe the same will happen to that. Here we have a couple Lego City sets. These are just ones that, again, I have duplicates of. And it is 60147, the fishing boat, and 60150, the pizza van. So this is the 2016 copy of the Lego Advent Calendar. These were a promo. They, did, they didn't do one in 18, but they did one in 16 and 17, where basically you spend a certain amount of money and you got this free Lego Advent Calendar. You can do 24 builds in one. It was a pretty cool set. I ended up with two of the 2016 copies. Walmart was having a really good sale one day on these Lego DC Superhero Battle of Atlantis sets. These are pretty cool. I don't really I think they were like $15 each for Lego minifigures, 200 pieces. I did pick up three copies of them because I thought they would be cool to hold on to. Eventually, you know, part of or sell whole or something. Whatever. As I said, I know you never know. Here I have a sealed case of Lego Batman movie minifigures. I got these on a great deal online as I said, full case. Here I have a copy of the Lego Chicken Suit Guy. I just had an extra one of these. And then I do have three copies. I placed a lot of orders that week. Three copies of the Lego Caveman set. Right here on the bottom, I have a copy of the 40320, the Lego Plant from Plants. Here I have a set I bought for investment purposes. It is set number 40223. The Lego Snow Globes, as you can see there is Santa in that. It was a limited edition set. I ended up picking up three of them. As you can see, I have my three of them here. Here I have 40153, and it is the Lego Birthday Party set. Again, these were on sale. I thought it'd be just a cool set to have a duplicate of. You can build ages 1 through 99 using those parts. Another seasonal set is 40107, the LEGO Creator. This is a limited edition 2014 set. I have two copies of this one here. It is set number 40165, the LEGO Wedding Topper. I have my copy that's still sealed actually in my personal collection, but I have these ones as well. 
I have this set here, which is number 40220. This again was a promotional set. It is the LEGO Creator London Bus. Very awesome set. It goes well with the big London Bus set if you have that. A couple of the last sets in here are actually Halloween exclusives. So this was 40090, the bat, and 40203, the vampire bat. And finally, the very last set that I have in my LEGO vault, I do have three copies of it. And it is number 40206, the LEGO Santa Claus. So this is a really awesome set. As you can see, it's this big Santa sitting in a nice chair. These were actually on sale last year on Amazon. I think they were, I don't remember what they were, but they are very, very good price. So I picked up three of them. Very, very cool. Who doesn't love a nice Santa Claus, especially when he's sitting in that chair? So there you have it, everyone. Now you have seen what's inside my Lego vault. I have some cool sets in here. I did a video of this last year as well, so you should definitely check that out. I'm going to check it out now too and see what's changed, what sets have been added, and things like that. So thanks everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe. Don't miss out for future LEGO videos. I have a lot in the works and I can't wait to share them with you. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.